International Conference on Accounting and Finance. Chandrasekhara from Department of Statistics and Computer Science, University of Kalania, Sri Lanka. Uh, and uh, this presentation could be a bit scientific because I am from some other discipline that is statistics. But uh, why I am uh, presenting this paper in this finance conference is this application is to the Colombo Stock Exchange. Recently, the predictability of financial markets depicts a great importance. And uh, the stock market is exhibit great interest due to profitability and development of many techniques. And when we are going to build prediction models for stock markets, it is, uh, need, it is essential to know the underlying distribution of the return uh, of a given stock market index. Therefore, finding a distribution of a stock return will be useful in building prediction models. Um, when we revealed the literature, there were many researchers attempt to find the return distribution of several foreign stock indices. The traditional belief is that the stock return behaves as normal distribution or the Gaussian distribution. But many researchers found out that the stock return do not behave normally. And uh, after that, many other researchers tried to find what is the most suitable distribution to model the return of a given stock index. And uh, I have found some papers uh, relating to this issue and some researchers suggested that student tier distribution can be used to model the return distributions in some stock exchange and some have suggested scale tier distribution to model the return distribution. Therefore, the objective of my study is to find the suitable distribution to model all share price index of Colombo Stock Exchange. Uh, when we talk about the significance of the study, there were no published research were found which were aimed at finding the return distribution of the local stock market. And this finding will help many researchers in the financial sector in Sri Lanka to build prediction models with high accuracy. Uh, I will brief the methodology uh, of this research. When we talk about the data collection and data pre-processing, I have used daily closed price of all share price index for five years, which is from 1st August 2007 to 31st July 2012. This study period contains 1,289 observations. And the return of the series is calculated using the uh, shown formula in the slides. The RT is return of the day T. PT is the closed stock price of the day T. And PT minus 1 is the closed stock price of the day T minus 1. With the evidence from the literature, I have tried three distributions, which are normal, student's T, and the scale T distributions. But I'm not going to um, explain these distributions in detail in this presentation. I have only mentioned the probability density functions of the three distributions. And if you are interested in uh, learning about these distributions, you can refer the given references. Uh, and uh, once we fit a distribution to a return, we have to check the adequacy of the fitted distribution. For that, I have used a statistical test called Colmagro's Murno test, which is also called as case test. And this is a non-parametric test, which is used to assess the equality of a continuous probability distribution. The hypothesis under this test is H0, two samples are drawn from the same distribution. H1 is the two samples are not drawn from the same distribution. The test statistics is shown in the slide and also the rejection criteria also mentioned. And if you are interested in a, about this test, you can uh, refer the given reference. Uh, now we can discuss the results of the study as the traditional belief that the uh, data return distribution follows the normal distribution. First of all, I try to check the normality of the data and I drawn the normal probability plot for ASPI 
and as you all can see the graph uh, deviate from the straight line that means uh, it is evident that the return of the aspi do not follow the normal distribution after that i have tried to fit the student t distribution to the return series of aspi and the adequacy was tested using the ks test uh, in this uh, process i have carried out uh, different uh, i have carried out the test so many times by changing parameters and results indicate that the p values obtained in all the cases are less than 0.05 and the test is significant under 5% level of significance in all the cases therefore we can say that the student t distribution is not suitable to model the all share price index after that i have tried to fit the scale t distribution to the return series of all share price index and fortunately it shows a good fit to the aspi return series and the distribution is shown in the figure uh, this klt distribution uh, contain three parameters which are mu the location parameter sigma scale parameter and new the shape parameter in this distribution the new parameter uh, capture the heavy tails of a distribution as you all know the return distribution consists of heavy tails in this uh, I, the calculated new is 2.54137 which is a smaller value indicate that the uh, heavy tails of the spi return series is well captured by the fitted scale t distribution after fitting this distribution i have uh, assessed the suitability using two techniques uh, i have used the quantile quantile plot or the qq plot to assess the suitability and uh, by referring this graph you all can see the data points lie on the straight line it implies that the two distributions are from the same distribution that means the fitted scale t distribution with these parameters are fitted well to the spi return series after that i have uh, tested the adequacy using the kolmogorov's mono test and uh, to carry out the test random numbers were generated using scale t distribution with above mentioned parameters and the case test was carried out using generated series and the return series of aspi the same procedure was repeated 100 times in order to improve the accuracy of results and in this simulation study minimum p value of 0.0534 was obtained and results indicate that the test is not significant under 5% level of significance above 95 times among the 100 trial trials therefore scale t distribution with above mentioned parameters can be recommended as the best distribution to model the return distribution of all share price index of colombo stock exchange and this results will useful for further research in constructing prediction models for colombo stock exchange uh, these are my references thank you